Hi everyone. Uh, we're here today to talk about PlayStation and uh, some of the exciting things that we have going on with uh, not only the PlayStation 4, uh, but it, as well as how uh, the PlayStation 3 is going to continue to be uh, vibrant for us uh, as we move into 2014 and 2015. Um, I'm going to speak with you a little bit about our audience, about what a great fit the audience is from an advertising perspective. We'll talk a little bit about the consoles in general and the growth of the experience. And we're also going to touch on the ad solutions, which I know is a, probably a very important aspect for you guys here in the room, and how, all the different ways that you'll be able to take advantage of the new PlayStation Network and platform uh, in 2014 and beyond. The audience speaks for itself in terms of size. We're talking about 60 million registered PlayStation Network users, which is just huge. Our reach far exceeds almost all other men 18 to 34 platforms that are available at all. So it's, it's, it's a fantastically large network. And not only is it a large network that utilizes the platform, but they're coming back in droves. So you, when you take a look at month, monthly uniques, 57 million monthly uniques on the platform, which tells us that they're back every month. They're using this thing over and over again. Engagement is through the roof. We'll get into engagement in the next slide or two here. But people are using it, they're using it for gaming, they're using it for entertainment, and they're coming back every single month to utilize the platform. So we're, we're excited about that. We've sold 5.3 million consoles to date, which far exceeds expectations. Uh, as you guys may or may not know, we uh, launched around the same time as one of our biggest competitors for our new platform. And uh, we are outpacing them in sales right now. We're very excited about that. Uh, there are some new numbers that are getting ready to be released here in the next uh, couple of weeks, and we expect to be north of the six million uh, consoles sold uh, mark here in the next week or two. Um, time spent. I mean, everybody talks about engagement. Everybody talks about wanting to be where people are spending the time, lean back environments that are uncluttered. PlayStation is one of those environments. 18 hours per user spent per week gaming. And then six week, six hours uh, spent per week uh, watching entertainment, which is amazing when you think about it. One full day, 24 hours every single day or every single week is being spent within the PlayStation interface, uh, and you know a quarter of that is in for entertainment purposes. And so things outside of the traditional game. So a lot of engagement, a lot of a lot of opportunities to be in front of these people, uh, and a lot of good things for the PlayStation Network. So the audience, uh, like I said before, our users are highly, highly engaged. Um, they're three times more likely to want to watch uh, their television shows in the streaming environment. I know I've spoken to some of you guys about our Crackle Network as well. As well. We're seeing a lot of these same numbers, whether it, whether it be Hulu or Crackle or Netflix or YouTube. Uh, their, their PlayStation 4 is their primary uh, device to access all things streaming video, and uh, they're using it a ton. Um, again, I said before, 24 hours spent gaming, between gaming and entertainment, six hours of that is spent outside of gaming uh, within the entertainment space. Um, you know, it's a low clutter environment. We are finding that uh, you know, they're, they're at this point in time, we've got a ton of opportunity, and there are not a lot of advertisers playing in the space. It's very clean, a lot of opportunity. You can see our ad recall is very high uh, due to the fact that we're keeping such a low clutter uh, with our environment. It's social. I mean, social is a big theme. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about some of the social functionalities of the PlayStation 4 as we move on in the presentation a little later. Um, but as you can see here, people are using this with other, with other members in the household. 32% uh, of our PlayStation users are using this with our family net, family members. 42% play with um, play with their friends. This is a social environment. Families are getting together, watching entertainment, playing games. Everybody's together. It's a great way to double up efforts in reaching more than one individual within the household when you are uh, targeting those impressions for the user. Duplication. Like we got a lot of younger users here, a lot of cord cutters, a lot of cord nevers, a lot of folks that are just not using traditional TV models to um, watch uh, television, but also not using traditional websites to get their news and sports information. 
So you can see that we have very low duplication with MTV, Fox Sports, ESPN. And then when you really take a look at it, you dive a little deeper and you take a look at two of the competitors within the set, for instance, an MTV or a Spike, you'll see how high duplication starts to get with those properties. So we're very excited in the fact that we have a user uh, that is untapped, uh, and that is highly engaged, and, and that is ready to, to have some, uh, some messaging in front of them. Opportunities. So how can you utilize the, the PlayStation Network? We've got, a lot, we've got a lot of great ad opportunities. This is going to continue to grow as time moves into 2014. We have some really high, high impact um, opportunities to take a look at today. But as we move into 2014, things are beginning to grow. Things are beginning to take on new legs. And we'll have new and exciting uh, news and information to release as the year comes on. The, the welcome roadblock. Um, you can own this welcome roadblock on a PS3 or the PS4. This is the first placement that anybody sees when they enter into the PlayStation 4. So it's highly engaging. Uh, it's a takeover environment. As an advertiser, you have the opportunity to skin the entire background, uh, to incorporate video ad units, um, to create a call to action, to create a click to download, to really interact and engage in a cool and unique way within the, within the store. Um, and um, you know, it, it, it's something that takes very little out of pocket or, or heavy lifting on your end and that PlayStation and Sony will work internally to help you. We take your assets, um, build out this rich media unit, uh, very seamless and easy process for you. Here's a case study within the PlayStation 4. And I know a lot of you probably are thinking, yeah, that seems like a great unit for movie studios or it's probably a really good unit for uh, gaming or endemic categories, but here's a great example of it working for somebody in a quote-unquote non-endemic category with, uh, with Toyota. They had great success executing uh, one, of, one of these uh, PS Store uh, takeover uh, backgrounds. Uh, awareness was fantastic, um, and uh, yeah, they, they showed some really great results uh, within the study. There are some other, uh, other examples here with the Lone Survivor, Robocop, some things that are more endemic, but showing you that advertisers outside of the endemic category are also taking, care, uh, taking uh, advantage of these interactive units and having some great success. Uh, branded multi-screen channel. This is another high-impact, custom um, environment available to you. Uh, it's, it's, it's accessible from the main screen of the PlayStation 4. Um, it'll live in, in the main navigation, uh, navigation tree. Uh, it can host up to five screens that can be toggled through by, uh, by the user itself. It hosts multiple video and banner, hosts multiple videos and, and banners. And again, something that we assist you with uh, in the build out and it has a ton of high engagement and, and, and a ton of great use uh, with, with our users because it's new. It's something they haven't seen before, so they, there's a lot of propensity for those folks to go in and, and play and play around and take a look and engage. Uh, and it's, it's a pretty exciting unit. So the PS user, at its core, is, is tech savvy. Uh, they're influencers, uh, they're social, and, and they're trendsetters. So uh, these folks, and we'll talk a little bit more about the social functionality of the PlayStation as we move uh, later into this deck, but as you can see, taking a look at this research, uh, it's your typical young adult, 18 to 34, that knows social like the back of their hands, that's very tech savvy, uh, and, and that um, is, a, is a prime sweet spot target for any advertiser. So the premium new games roadblock, this integration here um, is, is a fantastic build out for, for anybody that's trying to perform a new game, a movie release, a product release. Um, this, this, this unit has a um, 790 by 790 uh, inventory unit and background skins that, that we are allowed to create. Again, just another custom interface and an idea of something that we can put in um, to, a, to a new games uh, category from a custom unit. 
ROS category roadblocks. Again, uh, we could do a background skin for this unit. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the first uh, one of the screens that the user sees within the PlayStation 4. Um, 520 by 790 banner uh, with a video and a back, background skin that can be built in, uh, into the inner base as well. Uh, the, the cool thing about this unit is if you click through to it, it can launch an optional product page, great for an auto. Uh, if you would want the opportunity for your user to go to a built-in page and, and review product specs, uh, play with the unit, watch a video, just kind of take a deep dive within the product outside of this category roadblock environment. So it's, it's a cool rich media unit, allows you to take a little bit deeper dive. The welcome homepage, uh, 520 by 790, uh, large unit here. Uh, first banner uh, that's available within the PS Store user that, that they'll see. Uh, really high click throughs, you know, almost 2% on this unit. Uh, and again, it, it, it affords you the opportunity to uh, take a deeper dive into a secondary environment if, if you so choose. So, uh, you know, kind of building off of that, not necessarily doing a road a roadblock, we can also build out the game store unit uh, to run ROS within categories. Um, we can really slice and dice and put this into uh, any capacity you want to make it right right for your brand. So I mentioned before that uh, PlayStation 3 is going to remain a focal point for us moving forward. Uh, and the reason that it is is because of the user base. Uh, as, as PlayStation 4 sales begin to ramp up, there's still going to be a lot of PlayStation 3 users out there. Uh, 60 million PlayStation 3 users, in fact. Um, and so we'll still want to continue to create ad opportunities to reach those users. Uh, this, this is one of them, the What's New homepage. Uh, this is the first screen that users see when they log into the, play, uh, the PlayStation 3 initially. And, um, the cool thing about PlayStation 3 that's, that's, that's available to you now that isn't quite ready for, for PlayStation 4 yet is targeting capabilities. So within the PlayStation 3 channel, we have first-party data. So we can geo-target, demo-target, gender-target, uh, address-target, whatever needs to be done to reach that user is available from the PlayStation 3 capacity, uh, whereas we're not quite there yet with the PlayStation 4. We hope to be later, uh, later in the year, but based on first-party real-time data of that user, will be able to target uh, from the PlayStation 3 what's new homepage. So PlayStation 4 what's new homepage. So what's changed? Uh, it, it, as you can see, we've, we've tried to get a little more social with this unit. Uh, you can see on the left hand side here of the screen that this is a very much more social type social feed environment that you would see on a, place, or, uh, on a Facebook interface or within your Twitter account. Uh, one of the social uh, social boxes at the top right hand part of the screen uh, is an advertising opportunity uh, allows you to, to, to stream video and then to click out to a uh, secondary product page uh, to take a little bit of deeper dive to interact more with the product itself um, and then gives you the opportunity to include a URL for users to explore the website directly. So again, it, it gets access to the main engagement area of the PlayStation 4 interface. Uh, it's a very social stream uh, that seamlessly fits into the interface uh, of, of, of the homepage, and it allows you to click, uh, allows users to click into a deeper dive of the product, and allows them to link out to uh, URL type opportunities. The sharing functionality. So this is actually the thing that I'm most excited about about this product. It's really cool. Um, here's an example, or actually here's a physical controller, and you can see here on the controller, uh, there's a share button functionality. Um, so whenever you click on that share button, uh, it, it gives you the opportunity to share with your Facebook and or Twitter friends uh, any cool content, your most recent gaming experiences, uh, whatever you've done across your PlayStation for the last couple of minutes is recorded. You can edit that, and then you can share it with your friends. Um, it gives us the opportunities to do some cool things like incentivize sharing uh, based on cool advertisements that, that you'd like to put in front of the users, etc. So uh, some really cool social functionalities. Uh, we, we know that our users are social savvy and they're using this often. Uh, millions and millions of shares to date, over 10 million shares to date actually, 
uh, and that's just going to keep on growing. So from a social perspective, uh, we, we're, we're really excited about what this platform offers, not only from a user experience, but also uh, from an advertising opportunity experience. And uh, that's the, the quick and dirty version of all things PlayStation. I invite you to pass along questions, and uh, thank you for joining me today.